Hello everyone and welcome to a special episode of Restore It, brought to you by Hornback. Hornback sent me this vintage brush drill to restore in celebration of my second channel, Rusty Nut Restorations. A channel where I'll be restoring antique toys, tools and all kinds of things from the past, just like I used to here on Restore It. If you enjoy this restoration, head over to Rusty Nut Restorations after the video and get subscribed with the bell on. There's going to be lots of new content coming on there very, very soon. For now, let's take a quick break from the E30s and take a trip down memory lane with this old two-speed brush drill. Firstly, I need to completely dismantle it. This should be slightly easier than the E30s. It looks like some of these parts will need a fresh nickel plating. These three pins need forcing out with a punch and hammer. With those out, I can tap the gear shafts out of the body and remove the gears. Last is the rod that attaches the breastplate to the body. I thought this was press fit, but it turned out to be threaded. With everything removed from the main body, I can now make a list of jobs that need carrying out. Firstly, I give everything a good clean with the parts washer to remove any old grease and dirt. I then remove all of the paint from the body pieces using a strong paint stripper. Whilst I waited for that to take effect, I set up a small electrolysis tank.
With that thoroughly doing its job, I went back to the body pieces and removed the strip paint with a steel wire brush. After several hours in the tank, I removed the parts and rubbed them down with some Scotch-Brite to remove any leftover rust. Whenever I change the parts, I clean the anodes with a wire wheel and change the solution for a new one. As electrolysis is a slow process, you can find yourself working late into the night. Some of us just can't hack it. A final going over on the wire wheel really brought these parts back to life. To paint the body parts of this drill I'm going to use four different types of paint. An etching primer to prevent rust in the future, a high build primer to hide some of the imperfections, a base coat colour that will be similar to the old one, and a clear coat to add shine and protection. Each paint type is baked on with an infrared lamp. During this restoration I convinced myself to buy my first lathe so I could more easily restore and even create handles in the future. For now, this drill and some perseverance will have to do.
This handle was sanded by hand. It took a lot longer than the other one, trust me. I then painted them with two coats of black acrylic enamel. So this is the nickel plating setup from classicplating.co.uk. This 10 litre kit is big enough for any nut and bolt, drill part and even some bigger parts. I removed the old nickel plating from the parts in a dry acid solution before placing them in the electrolyte for around 50 minutes to add a fresh layer of nickel. Because the spray roof isn't yet fully finished, some dust can get inside and onto the pieces you're painting. To overcome this, I use Quartz 2000 One Step to polish the lacquer of any small scratches or dust particles. With every part looking brand new, it's time to put it all back together again. Firstly, I install the shafts, gears and ball bearings with fresh grease. I then added the handle and gave it a spin. With everything working as it should, I installed the breastplate rod and breastplate, again using the breastplate to twist the rod. Both gear covers were then screwed into place. Before adding the cap back onto the handle and then that was installed. Finally the chuck was spun on and the restoration was complete. Stick around to see the drill getting a test and I'd just like to say thanks to Hornback for sponsoring this episode of Restore It. Head over to Rusty Nut Restorations and get subscribed if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for another E30 touring episode shortly.